tourism, as we have no income in, in all these months, of course, is, is suffering big time. And there are a lot of families around the world, millions of families impacted, waiting for this to restart. It just completely stopped. Um, just nobody is flying, nobody's staying, um, there's no tourism. So it's just a, a complete stop for us. Everyone who you know, was thinking of traveling before, when the lockdown happened, they just stopped thinking about what's going to happen with their holidays and when are they going to travel again. We used to do a trip every, I'd say every month or two, more or less. Uh, a lot of the work, a lot of the projects we did were travel based. We've not moved Cyprus since early March. We've not moved, we've, we've not left the island since early March. We're all desperate to get back to work. We need to open, we need to get people back into hotels and reassure everybody that, you know, everything has been put in place for everybody's safety and the precautions have been taken. We need to make a point about helping travel agencies, helping hotels, restaurants and um, airlines, airports, all these uh, different uh, components and, and, and industries and organizations, part of the ecosystem, uh, which is relevant and provides a lot of jobs around the world. One out of 10 depend of uh, travel and tourism currently. So the implementation of standard protocols around the world are going to help us to rebuild trust from the traveler. We need to make sure that we don't make the same mistake that um, we made after 9-11, that we had different protocols around the world and it took us years to recover the trust from the traveler. Just working together, public and private, and the organizations implementing these aligned same protocols would allow us to rebuild trust faster and recover, of course, sooner. There's a lot of training. Obviously, we have had to change our standards of performance on how we interact with our guests now. Um, changed a lot of procedures on um, sanitising areas, um, bedrooms, obviously. Um, so there's a lot of training involved, not just for the cleaning side of it, but obviously recognising COVID-19, um, the, uh, the reactions and the response that we have to take if um, there's anything um, Untoward. If somebody comes in and we feel that they've got these symptoms, that we, we know what to do. I think in terms of staycations and um, domestic travel, it's all about where you go. I mean, I wouldn't recommend going to crowded places. So forget yes, maybe true. about the beach, the popular beaches and, you know, um, summer resort places and think um, of more the countryside places that are not crowded do a road trip I mean, road trips are can be so exciting it's very nice actually for people for the people i don't know if it's very nice for the businesses because they don't make as much money but when you go to a restaurant and you go to the beach you, know, you, you feel like you're a VIP person, there's no one else around you. You have the, the two, three meters and everyone is scattered around like that. So it, it feels very secluded and private. So in that way, it's quite cool. <laughs>